Miss South Africa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. My name is Margaret Gardner, and I come from Cape Town. Thank you. This is the sensational view from the cliffs of lovely Las Brisas, overlooking the whole city of Acapulco, including the beautiful bay. But on this particular day, even the view had some competition. From Miss South Africa and Miss Panama, Margaret Gardner, Diana Conte. Miss Trinidad. Semi-finalist number two is Miss South Africa. Very well, I want to talk with Miss South Africa. Would you come down here to me, please? This is Margaret Gardner. She lives in Cape Town. She's 18 years old. She's a model, and you have also done some writing, haven't you? That's true. I've written some poems which have been published. Uh, what, uh, what poetry you have written uh, that right. has been published? That's right. Have you written any stories or, or uh, articles I, that have been published? I've written one short story, which I hope to have published when I get back to Cape Town. Have you thought about doing a story of the pageant? I definitely have. I've been keeping a diary. Oh, you have? I have. And you're going to write one? I will. I hope it will be successful. <laughs> well, I hope it will, but please remember, it's Bob, B-O-B, Barker, B-A-R-K-E-R. I've already written it down in my diary. Have you? I have. With a description. Young. Quite naturally. Young, dashing, looking, and poised. Modest. Yes. Uh, have you had fun here in Acapulco? I have. I went parachuting, and I rode in one of these little motorbikes on the sea. I kept falling off, which was unfortunate. <laughs> but I've had a lovely time. It's a pleasure to have had the opportunity to talk with you, and good luck. Thank you very Miss much. Miss South Africa. Our distinguished panel of computer operators is busy at work down here now and in a moment we'll know the composite score for her Miss South Africa Margaret's an 18 year old brunette with blue eyes She's a regal, five feet, ten and a half inches tall, and she weighs 135 pounds. Miss Israel. Miss South Africa. Miss Israel. Our Miss Universe accountants are from the internationally known firm of Ernst & Ernst. They verified all of the judges' scores in the interview, swimsuit, and evening gown segments of the competition. And they've just handed me this card on which they've listed the five contestants who received the highest total scores. Those five ladies will be tonight's finalists and one of them will go on to become Miss Universe. Now, girls, good luck to all of you. The first name among our five finalists is Miss South Africa. And I have one last question in the bowl there, Miss South Africa, it's all yours. And that question is, what have you learned from your experience as a Miss Universe contestant that you might not have learned in any other way? Well, I don't know if I wouldn't have learned this in any other way, but first I'd like to say that all nations can get along together very well. I've also learned patience and that to be a celebrity is hard work as well as enjoying. Thank you. Thank you, Miss South Africa. Now, judges. I would like to ask you to mark your handwritten ballots and choose four runners-up in a brand new Miss Universe.
Now, one of you is about to become Miss Universe, and the other girl will be the first runner-up, a position that is very important, because if for any reason Miss Universe cannot fulfill her obligation for the full year, then the first runner-up will become Miss Universe. The first runner-up is Miss USA, Miss South Africa is Miss Universe of 1978. Gardner of South Africa is Miss Universe of 1978. She has won all the prizes I described to you just a few moments ago. And now, Margaret, as Janelle Comision steps over here and reads the Miss Universe Creed, will you please walk out for the first time and greet our audience as Miss Universe of 1978. We, the young women of the universe, believe people everywhere are seeking peace, tolerance, and mutual understanding. We pledge to spread you, this message in every way we can, Tie. wherever we go. This Miss Universe pageant has been brought to you by Tide. Women who count on cleaning put their trust in Tide. And by Gleam. The cavity fighter with a cool burst of freshness. And by Pro Concentrate, it shampoos hair from flat to fluffy. of this program were pre-recorded. This is Jack Wells speaking. <laughs>